Pag-usapan natin ngayon kung paano ba kunin ang roots ng quadratic equation. Isa sa mga pamamaraan na ituturo ko sa inyo ay tinatawag nating extracting square roots. Medyo madali lang to at alam kong kayang-kaya nyo. Simulan na natin. The method of solving quadratic equation that can be written in the form x squared is equal to k is called extracting square roots. So yung k, it represents any real number. Ibig sabihin, siya yung constant term natin. Yung x squared, siya yung quadratic term. At kung mapapansin nyo, wala siyang linear term. So yun na yung magiging condition natin. Na kapag ang quadratic equation natin walang linear term, pwedeng-pwede nating gamitin ang method na tinatawag nating extracting square roots. Tandaan nyo lang yung form na x squared is equal to k. Kailangan ang quadratic term natin ay naka-isolate. At sa pagsusolve, may mga kailangan din tayong tandaan ng mga properties. Number 1, if k is greater than 0, then x squared is equal to k has two real solutions or roots. x is equal to positive and negative square root of k. Para mas maintindihan, let us have an example. Find the solutions of the equation x squared minus 16 equals to 0 by extracting square roots. First step natin, we will write the equation in the form x squared is equal to k. Isolate natin yung x squared. At para mangyari yun, add tayo both sides ng 16. And this will become x squared is equal to 16. Yung k natin dito ay 16, which is greater than 0. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang two real solutions or roots. Para malaman natin, let us solve for the value of x. Sa part na to, gagamit tayo ng square root property. Lagay tayo both sides ng square root. Square root of x squared is equal to x. And square root of 16 is positive and negative 4. So meron tayong x is equal to positive and negative 4. O sila yung two real solutions or roots na magsasatisfy dun sa equation natin. Subukan nating i-check. Siyempre, gagamitin natin ang original equation na x squared minus 16 equals to 0. I-substitute natin yung nakuha natin value ng x na positive and negative 4. Unahin natin yung positive 4. So, positive 4 squared minus 16 equals to 0. Positive 4 squared is equal to 16. So, this will become 16 minus 16 equals to 0. So, 0 equals to 0, ibig sabihin, tama yung sagot natin na positive 4. Next, ang subukan naman nating i-substitute yung negative 4. Negative 4 squared minus 16 equals to 0. Negative 4 squared is equal to 16. And 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. So, 0 equals to 0, ibig sabihin, Tama din yung negative 4. So, ang two real solutions natin or roots ay positive 4 and negative 4. Again, property number 1. Sa form na x squared equals to k, kapag ang value ng k ay greater than 0, mayroon siyang two real solutions or roots. So, ngayon, proceed tayo sa property number 2. If k equals to 0, then x squared equals to k has one real solution or root, x equals to 0. For example, x squared plus 4 equals to 4. Ano nga ulit yung first step natin? Okay, very good. Dapat naka-isolate yung x squared. At dito sa equation natin, para mangyari yun, we will subtract both sides by 4. It will give us x squared equals to 0. So, naka-form na tayo ng x squared equals to k. And yes, the value of k equals to 0. So, ibig sabihin, the equation has only one solution. And that is 
x equals to 0. Dahil, square root of 0 is equal to 0. I-check natin, substitute natin yung value ng x sa original equation na x squared plus 4 equals to 4. So, 0 squared plus 4 equals to 4. 0 squared is 0. So, 4 equals to 4. Meaning to say, the value of x satisfy the given equation. So, the equation x squared plus 4 equals to 4 is true when x equals to 0. So, ganun lang kasimple yun. Ulitin ko, sa form na x squared equals to k, kapag ang value ng k nyo ay 0, meron lang siyang one real solution or root. At yun ay x equals to 0. At ngayon, proceed tayo sa property number 3, last property na ito. If k is less than 0, then x squared equals to k has no real solutions or roots. Paano ba pag sinabi nating less than 0? Sila yung mga negative numbers. Katulad ng negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, up to negative infinity. For example, find the roots of the equation x squared plus 9 equals to 0. So first step natin, write the equation in the form x squared equals to k. Subtract tayo both sides ng 9 and the equation will become x squared equals to negative 9. Since ang k natin ay negative 9 which is less than 0, Ibig sabihin, ang equation natin na x squared equals to negative 9 has no real solutions or roots. Bakit kaya? Kasi walang real number na kapag in-squared natin, ang result negative 9. Sa madaling salita, kahit anong number kapag minultiply mo sa sarili niya, ang result positive number. Or pwede ring 0 kasi sa 0 times 0, equals to 0. Kaya, the equation x squared plus 9 equals to 0 has no real solutions or roots. Pero pwede nating kunin ang value ng x at tinatawag siyang imaginary roots. Paano kaya yun? Gamit ang i equals to square root of negative 1. Lagay muna tayo ng square root both sides. Meron tayo dyang square root of negative 9. Since ang 9 ay perfect square, pwede natin siyang paghiwalayin. Square root of 9 times square root of negative 1. Ang square root of 9 is positive and negative 3. At yung square root of negative 1, palitan lang natin ng symbol na i. So, ang value ng x natin, positive and negative 3i at tinatawag na imaginary roots tandaan nyo lang yung small letter i na square root of negative 1 tapos na natin yung tatlong properties sa so form na x squared equals to k kapag ang k ay greater than 0 meron siyang 2 real solutions or roots at kapag ang k naman ay 0, meron siyang 1 real solution or root. At kapag ang k ay less than 0, meron siyang imaginary roots or no real solutions or roots. Bigay pa tayo ng last example. Find the solutions of the equation quantity x minus 4 squared minus 25 equals to 0. Kung mapapansin nyo, iba yung itsura ng equation natin. Pero huwag kayo mag-alala, pareho lang yung way ng pagsosolve natin. I-apply lang natin yung mga natutunan natin kanina. Ang first step, write the equation in the form x squared equals to k. Pero paano? Wala naman tayong nakikita na x squared. So ang magiging x squared natin dito yung quantity x minus 4 squared. Hindi na natin kailangan na expand ang quantity x minus 4 squared. 
although pwede naman natin siyang expand, kaso iba yung method na magagamit natin. Tsaka mas madali kung hindi mo na to expand. So balik tayo. Dapat naka-isolate yung quantity x minus 4 squared. Kasi siya yung nagsisilbing x squared sa x squared is equal to k. So para mangyari yun, add tayo both sides ng 25. It will give us quantity x minus 4 squared equals to 25. Ang value ng k natin ay 25 which is greater than 0. At kung natatandaan nyo pa, kapag ang k ay greater than 0, meron siyang 2 real solutions or roots. So sa part na to, gagamit na tayo ng square root property. Lagay tayo both sides ng square root. The square root of quantity x minus 4 squared is x minus 4. Or cancel lang natin to. And the square root of 25 is positive and negative 5. Meron tayong x minus 4 equals to positive and negative 5. So paghiwalay natin yung positive 5 and negative 5 para madali. Dito muna tayo sa x minus 4 equals to positive 5. Add tayo both sides ng 4. So this will become x equals to 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. So the value of x equals to 9. Next, do naman tayo sa x minus 4 equals to negative 5. Add tayo both sides ng 4. So this will become x equals to negative 5 plus 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. So the value of x equals to negative 1. So nakuha natin 2 real solutions or roots na positive 9 and negative 1. So check natin. Substitute natin yung nakuha natin values ng x sa original equation. O dun sa quantity x minus 4 squared minus 25 equals to 0. Unahin natin yung positive 9. Quantity 9 minus 4 squared minus 25 equals to 0. 9 minus 4 is 5 and 5 squared is 25. So 25 minus 25 equals to 0. So ibig sabihin, tama. Next natin yung negative 1. Quantity negative 1 minus 4 squared minus 25 equals to 0. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. And negative 5 squared is positive 25. 25 minus 25 is equal to 0. So both values of x satisfy the given equation. So the equation quantity x minus 4 squared minus 25 equals to 0 is true when x equals to 9 or when x equals to negative 1. Mag-iiwan ako ng sasagutan nyo at i-apply nyo kung ano yung mga natutunan nyo. Find the solutions of the equation 2x squared minus 98 equals to 0. I-comment nyo na lang sa baba yung sagot na makukuha nyo. So hanggang dito na lang muna. See you sa next video.